Ooh. Damn it, Teraphim! How many times do we tell you? I mean, it, I pay a little portion of our rent to help pay that stupid bill for our terrible internet. All right. So, to answer your question, Teraphim, I don't know yet whether the prince did it or not. I don't have enough information to go on, but I'm not ruling it out. Meanwhile, we have two lines of inquiry to go with. I need to pay more francs. Will she turn out to be a witch or an ancient? What do you think? Elena's Don Quixote, he's gotta be a good guy, right? <laughs> what, what do you mean, off? That's a good question. <laughs> what do you think we should say here? I'll go with whatever you pick. He's quite the character. Maybe he's, maybe he's actually the prince of all cosmos, and he should be rolling up catamaris instead of stewing in a prison cell. In which case, we definitely need to keep him found guilty, because I don't want to get rolled up in a catamari and thrown into the sky. I don't know. It seems like a party. I disagree with your call entirely. We have lots of places to go. Oh my gosh, we really do. Um, so we can hmm. go to the market, we can go to the Louvre, the most important place in all France. Hmm. Or we can go get hammered. Well, if we want to know about people's dirty secrets, drunken ramblings seems like a good idea. Alright, well let's go see what we can dig up, because it's important. Maybe he's not really the Spaniard Prince? Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, Falcon agrees with me. Yep, we're back to our suave serial self. <laughs> the usual. No! <laughs> Must not give in to temptation. This isn't exactly the classiest pub in Paris. Are you sure? Well, in that case, do you know anyone by the name of Juan? Have you seen a fox with roses and a love of great books? Are we going to get to play some Jacques Noir again? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so should we do this, um, the Noir style or the Batman Rorschach style? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Cause you know the Batman Rorschach uh, style. I know it appeals to you already, Nathan. I can tell. Yes. Yes. Beat people up until you get what you want to know. <laughs> Finger breaking optional, but definitely encouraged. I I I feel it'd be the spouse and approved investigation style. The noir style is to find somebody who looks shady but seems to know everything you actually want to know and pay him for information. So this is the Falcon and Morn approved style. It certainly is. And since we're playing Falcon straighter this time in terms of being more serious, I feel like that's the way we probably want to go if we have the choice. 
Okay, okay. So, we have two choices. We can go up and see what the card players know about him. Maybe he's some sort of horrible gambler and card cheat like Sparrowson is. <laughs> or we can go check out the drinking room where, you know, we can make all sorts of racist jokes about Spanish people loving wine. Mm. Which is fine, because my ancestry is half Spanish and half Irish, so that's lovely for Oh, me. yes, I see. You, 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 you have the privilege, okay. I, am, I have Span-Irish privilege. Uh, so, which way do you think we should go? No, no, Morn, please, let's go to the drinking room. I want you to check your privilege. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> check, privilege, check. Okay. Oh, what is uh, with the eagle? What can do? <laughs> and the dog is awesome. Damn it, Granville, you have the best art. Oh my god, the parakeet. Oh, it is. It's the one dude from from the cafe, isn't it? It's Bird Cafe guy. What's he doing here? Are we gonna get to see a zombie next? I will mark out so hard. <laughs> oh, please tell me Fon Fontaine is like the Sherlock Holmes, but not. <laughs> this this is the most useful information we've gotten so far. Oh, Piero is the parakeet dude. Something, something... Okay. You have nothing. Frothing at the mouth? This turns out to be relevant. Stop being relevant! I was going to say, maybe Major Howes... Oh. Stop being relevant! Wait, 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 I, wait. No, it, no, it can't be this easy. It can't be this easy. Well, we have questions to ask. We should ask them about things. Ask, ask about the prince. Have you ever seen a prince walking around? Because they tend to advertise. He wears a big name tag that says prince. And then he does <laughs> purple rain. It's kind of awkward. You see what his name tag was afterwards. Thank you. He has a very low cut top and he he's showing off his chest hair. Mm -hmm. well, really not in, no. not in. Yami was not in the mood for um, references to Prince, apparently, or the artist formerly in it. What? Known there then I thought it. about chest hair and I went, ah. Foxy <laughs> fellow, get it? Because he's a fox? Ah <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, there, there's been dog people and cats. Are, and... They, are they like ant or like actual animals? Well, how about I let you see the screen? Oh my god, it's terrifying. It's, uh, the art oh, is all animated going. from a 18th century character, or a 19th century caricaturist named J.J. Granville. He did this whole, yes. like, 70. 70 image series of anthropomorphized animals like that. Oh dear. So, oh, so now we know where the Falcon's first name comes from. It's a reference. Get I'm not it? getting a Barking up the wrong tree because he's a dog person? The jokes remain high quality. But there's significantly less. I don't believe you, Morn. But but there's significantly less forced this act. I question that. Well, I can totally believe this is something Kero would say. Hey, Tony, you're in for a, here for a weird game again. How you doing, buddy? Oh man. Oh no. 
Quit Big playing Sixy. bird lawyers. Please. Strap yourself down. <laughs> because if you are here long enough and the game does what it does. It's a... If you strip it down, it's a point-and-click adventure game. Visual novel, really. If you strip it down further, the, Pari the Parisian police would like to have some words with you. Yes, for indecent exposure. <laughs> they might put you next to a cage with a very annoyed lion. Excuse me, I have to give myself a headache. No, it can't be this easy. It can't be. Oh, it's not. I'm never trusting the easy answer ever again. <laughs> even in a game, even if you're playing Layton. And never mind that Leighton loves to play with that and set up the easy answer to make it wrong as well. <laughs> this game is going to give me trust issues. Then you can join me in therapy. Anyway, hey! Always better with a buddy around. Uh, oh boy, said a fat cat. It's we got the puppy bug. Thanks for the host, my friend. It's always good to have people do the hosting thing. Are we about to gamble? Can oh. we have Sparrows and do it? Oh, we can deal. <laughs> this guy looks like he's about to keel over from a heart attack. <laughs> Should we play some Jacques Noir? <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, please. Let's do one hand. No, of course not. Alright, let's actually try to win legitimately right now. Now this game is weird. I like how the, I like how the Franks have been pretty much a secondary score system. <laughs> Twelve, should we go for it? I think yeah. we have to. <laughs> Woot! What? Poker again. Oh boy, we got it exactly on the nose. Alright. I think we, we had our customary game. Let's Well, we got information, just not necessarily on what we wanted. And the guy was a wolf, so wolf's bane, it's it's so obvious it can't be the right answer, so it either is or you know. Are we done here? I think we're done here. I, I just have to say this right now. Wolf's Bane is a very strange way to pronounce red herring. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got three places to go that are not the happy food duck. Oh, we can go to the oh, library! We, can... we have the library yeah. as an option. Uh, so we can do that the entire time. I think we should probably go check out some things that are not that. We have only a few days to build up, and we can only do so much stuff. Time is a factor. It is? Yes. That's why we're getting new options. Like, we could go to the library and learn more about things. About Don Quixote? Apparently. But we, we were at the card shop, or the, you know, I don't even call it the card shop now. We were at the bar yesterday, so where should we go today? We have three choices. Well, I wouldn't recommend going back to the bar again. I agree with you. We could. We could spend all six days going to the bar. Six days, four options. We have five I'm left. I'm the odds. Five left. We've used one. Mm. We either go check out the... Um, Flower cellar girl, or we go to the murder scene, or we go to the library. I I'm going to ask Yami for her input. Murder scene. Oh, I murder scene. 
That's good. We're going to go to the Louvre, the most important place in all of France. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I picked the Louvre. Nathan knows exactly why. The Arc de Triomphe du Carousel. Spasson. When was the last time you came here? When a man like Napoleon invades half of Europe, he gets to build as many triumphal arches as he damn well pleases. <laughs> <laughs> oh, historical, historical accuracy, please. Oh, shit! Oh, what? A cockerel! Arrogant voice. Could it be? My childhood friend? JJ boy! <laughs> the most pompous prosecutor in all of Paris. Oh boy! We finally get to meet Edgewater! <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, snap. Yeah, he's got the snobbishness down. Oh. Our legendary reputation. Here we go. Our legendary reputation as an incompetent. They're, they're burning your joke into the ground, Nathan. I'm so sorry. But if the dominant species are all birds, why would this be an insult? Are birds the dominant species? Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. <laughs> are we insult? It insult? Insult sword fighting? Oh yes, we are. Totally monkey islanding this up. <laughs> this is this is already awesome. I am hyped for this now. How convenient! A witty a witty saying proves nothing. Also Voltaire, bitch. <laughs> that was great. Oh. Well, wasn't that because he was exactly a... Oh. This time will be different <laughs> if we are... And now, I would like to call all my surprise witnesses again. Oh, shit. Sparrowson, you are the best. You have gone from the worst to the best in ten minutes, tops. I don't think we have any right to mention anything about illegality. Right. We broke into a guy's house. We kind of suggested, you know, B and E. So yeah, we don't have any. We would have to get a wheelchair brought in because we don't have a leg to stand on with that one. Going for the pity points, eh? <laughs> oh no, Spouson confirmed Napoleon syndrome. Well, when we win this case, he can build as many triumphal arches as he damn well pleases, then. <laughs> oh. I miss the days of Inspector Pancakes. <laughs> he would just go home and take a nap in his little doggy bed. With his little hat. In the place of roundabouts. Ooh. So this is. You know what? It turned out it was actually a dart from a second gunman. No, 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 please, no, please, no. No, look, if you watch, as we see the wolf guard die, you can see his head goes back and to the left. I would actually show the Zapruder film at this point, but it turns out it's owned by some guy named Zapruder. 
funny how that works out. I'm just going to completely break everyone's immersion here, but I recently read a guy's idea for Meme Mon, and it would basically just be like a pay to play, you know, monster collection thing where all the monsters are like internet memes. And everyone, and everyone was like, oh man, this is a brilliant idea. You should totally capitalize on that. And then one person was like, I hate to break your hype, guys, but you see, most modern memes are actually copyrighted by people. Oh. Oh. So that's enough of that. <laughs> let's, um... <laughs> that, that's, that was a great diversion. Let's get back to exploring and investigating. Where should we investigate? I, I, I think, I think, I don't deserve the choice. Fine, we'll go to the garden. It's important, we'll probably find a hidden cigar butt. No, no, no! <laughs> a familiar face. Ring his neck! I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm 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 sure the artisan such as his himself. I have so much. Oh wait, he's going to be the equivalent of that southern accented. Go with the afro. A, her name's Lotta Hart, and B, I'm sad that yeah, I remember I, that. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, okay. It's been a while, Morn. You, you were, even if we had used it for the wrong purposes, you were totally committing perjury. I'm standing behind that one. Thanks, Sparrows, and you were the best, worst. I don't know what I don't know how to feel about Sparrows, and every time I hate him, he does something awesome. So he's a little bit like me. Basically. <laughs> oh good, we've got the Hadiful boyfriend problem of not capitalizing titles again. Well, this is only a fan translation, you see. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's helpful as always. I would say community service isn't quite the same as... What? Sometimes, literally. Beer can, bottles, tin cans, apple cores. Vital evidence? Wait. Didn't Sparrowson say something earlier about let about let's go dig up the dirt? That's a page from Don Quixote. Oh please no no please please do not tell us we have to open our evidence and find that the book is missing a page. All right. Um, should we cash out some of our francs, or should we try to talk to Judge Maxime to get him, get him a suspended sentence type thing? We can't get his photos in the Louvre. That's just unrealistic. Mm. Given that we have a limited amount of time, and if we're going to do it, we'll probably actually have to go speak to Judge Maxime. I'm. Frankly, I'm tempted to just pay the money. What? Like, you think that would... I think it'll spawn yeah. a side quest if we choose the second one. I'm, I don't know. I really don't. I'm going in as well, blind as can be. Go, wouldn't we have to go talk to 
No, I guess... Yeah, just, just, just the money. Like... Ten! Ow! Oh, gosh darn it, I need to look at this Excuse book. Excuse me, sir. On closer Excuse examination, me, sir. page 44, needs to be missing. Lovely. Excuse me, sir. This Are is not how haggling works, Rabinio! We're gonna pay him ten, aren't we? Meanwhile, on today's episode of... Sunday should have played... Stocks Simulator 2010. Uh, we, just, we just blew through 10 francs for vital evidence. I'm sure it'll end up saving us in court somehow. Morn, Morn, I, 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 I feel, I feel that, I feel that the money is not, I mean, we earned five during the blackjack, didn't we? As a matter of fact, we did. So... Yeah, we saw 54 francs, so we only effectively paid 5 for it. It's not a bad point. So quit, you're barely aching. <laughs> oh, my stomach! Oh, it hurts! Oh, oh! I'm oh, sorry, I decided to literally belly ache. Okay, so... Where should we go next, Nathan? Uh, into the gallery itself, I guess. The Grand Gallery. Is that a, is that Sonic? Yeah. Wait, wait, is this one of those ridiculous ceiling paintings? <laughs> oh no. Um. Warm. I I don't have any reaction, Nathan. There's the King of France. He's a penguin! He is a penguin. The King of France is a penguin man. This is the King of France. He's a very important penguin. Indeed. What do we I, 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 I really don't care for it. Alright. I'm not an art critic. Well, I have no opinion. <laughs> oh, snap! Falcon firing off the political discourse. And then we see the actual... King Penguin, and he's he's just... a goof. Sparrowson, look at yourself and talk about fancy dress. We're a right pair of Philistines. Gonna punch Sparrowson in his bird face before this game is over. I hope this doesn't run into the other AA problem of like the cases become exponentially longer due to all the evidence gathering you have to do. A friend. Also, I just remembered that porcupine is an animal. Yes, you did. <laughs> um, Falcon? Glass houses and stones, buddy. Mm. 
gray area of the law. Glass houses and stones. The gray area of the law. I'm just saying. That's not possible with quite as many people as we have here at, at present. No. So we have the Sala du Tibre and the Place du Carousel, which was where we were to start with, so... Yeah, I would recommend going there last. Uh, yeah, I vote for here. So this... Thank you, Metal Gear Mark II. This game has so many influences, and it, it just refers Interview. To <laughs> You're not interrogation. Not Totally not interrogation. Save that for the courtroom, Falcon. Now we do what every Ace Attorney guy does, and pick places clean. Falcon! You are terrible at this job. No wonder you got trounced in court five times, you jerk. He's treating it like a game. I wonder why that is. Wait. Oh. <laughs> yes, because logic is a renowned skill for the time period. Thanks, Sparrowson. And then we meet an actual hippo. There was one on the jury last time. Do you see him using a vase like that? Excuse me, I don't judge other people's lifestyles, Nathan. This is a safe space. Stop triggering me! <laughs> the safe word is cinnamon! <laughs> profession he could do it too that's the sad part <laughs> no one never suspects the sparrow <laughs> you could get mousy to help <laughs> stick it to the tall guys I'm gonna punch Sparrows in so hard before this is over, I swear. At least he's still doing the dumb jokes. I I feel okay about that, but Yeah, yeah, the the, the, the dumb jokes were not completely a diversionary tactic. It's just part of the game's charm. Charm. That that's the word I would use. <laughs> Is that the same way that you would use it to describe me? Um, uh, no, because you're actually capable of being charming once in a while. I feel insulted on Sparrowson's behalf. Okay. Does your uncle work <laughs> for Nintendo too? No, he works for Rome. But he's a Roman historian who works for Nintendo. How can you... Something... You oh have my gosh, there's a chocolate bar in the urn. Why? Oh, I'm sorry, it's a golden ticket. Okay, now, of all of his BS, here I actually believe Sparrowson. This is one guy you don't mess with when it comes to food. And, by the way, that would be some delicious chocolate. I imagine. Wow. Unfortunately, I'm Again, a casual. I'm totally not... taking him at face value here. I have no reason not to.
Eat the wrapper, Sparrison. <laughs> Eat it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh. Uh, yeah. There's a guy over in England currently doing that. I'm afraid. Is his name Basil? His name is Basil. Basil Faulty. I was actually going for Basil the Great Mouse Detective, right? I mean, I know Morn isn't a big fan of classic Disney films. <laughs> oh, okay. First of all, middle finger across the, the Atlantic Ocean over the internet. Second of all, Falcon. <laughs> Sparrison. Sparrison is just saved getting punched in the face for a little while. He's not going to... And this is what I was um, talking about. We, we It was better to pay because now we have another place we have to go. But do we have more locations than we have days remaining? No, not yet. But if we had to go to the courthouse and spend a day doing that, and then come back here... And what makes you think we wouldn't have to go there for another reason and we wouldn't be able to handle everything at once? Explain to me why I should take the risk. Because you like to live dangerously. We've been doing this for over two years. I thought you knew me. Morn. Yes? I was going to make a very bad joke there. Something about, imagine what I would know if I could... <laughs> oh, go oh, no, stop. Yeah, glad you stopped. So. <laughs> let's make a move. Let, let's just, let's make a move. Um, let, let, let's on from that fort. <laughs> and a new day dawns, and now we have more places to visit. We have, we've been to the Louvre. I think we've done everything for now that we can do there. We have the... Um, Swan Lady, we have the library, and we have the chocolate shop we've not visited. I'm going to have to go out and probably after tomorrow's pay, I'm going to have to go buy some expensive chocolate, aren't I? I can already tell. And a Spanish copy of Don Quixote. This game is influencing me way too much. I'm just very confused how any of these new places can be considered tangibly relevant to our investigation. Well, we found a chocolate wrapper in an urn at the last place the king was before he was murdered that was bought from here, so that's kind of relevant. Like, how do we even know we have X days remaining again? They, they know in advance when the trial's going to be. Right, okay. We have four when days that, left and three places for now to visit. We need to pick one. We can skip going to the chocolate factory for a day. Okay, so that leaves us with the library or the flower shop, among other places we can investigate here, I'm sure. I would say, I would say the flower cellar could be helpful. All right, let's go. I mean, as much as I love Don Quixote, having never read it. Oscars, performance, and thieves. Sparrows and stay close. I need, I need you to protect me. <laughs> I need an adult, but I guess you'll have to do Sparrowson. Are we doing the tact and grace joke again? It seems so, to be the step the thing of this game. So we're actually going to try to be as tactful as possible this time. Please, offer for a gift. For a single franc. A chrysanthemum? Sparrowson, you're doing the thing again. The swan theme from Carnival of the Animals or somewhere else again. I'm getting ducktail vibes from her design. And it's not just because they've given her a completely inappropriate low cut top. Again, it's part of the Grand Velar style. Let, let's just. A 
week ago. On the sixth. <laughs> Should we push it? Ah, uh, pressure her. I mean, what have we ultimately learnt so far? Oh, okay, I was gonna... Oh, this is probably my fault, isn't it? Yep. We scared the flower girl. And that was our day. And once again, Sparrowson does the... What was that you were saying about tact and finesse? <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. Mm, okay. Chocolate, because that's probably more important than books. You're making some weird assumptions. It's an elephant! So, something about the elephant in the room. I'm going to have to totally replay this game, aren't I? Oh no! Sparrowson? I want to go buy chocolate, but I don't have cash until tomorrow. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Tariff, if you're listening, go get me chocolate! Morn, I thought you made me... I thought you promised me that you would live less paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> I don't have access to my savings account because it's Sunday. Tariff, go get me chocolate! <laughs> I forgot it was Sunday. My bad. Okay. I'm sorry for inadvertently revealing details about your personal life. Let's find out about the chocolate. Can we find out who bought it? Yes, like that. Let's find out about other people's personal details. I'm sure he can't. Oh. How many people buy how many chocolate sparrows and how much have you bought recently? Working in retail, I completely understand. We're talking to an elephant that is a purveyor of chocolates, honey. Also possibly honey. Chocolate. <laughs> Oh look, it's oh. her! It's the Facebook! Why would they keep the profiles of people from previous cases? That's gonna be important at some point, I just know it. Unfortunately. Uh, ask about Foxy. Okay, fortunately, we don't seem to have limited attempts asking. Ask him if he bought his own well. No. Uh. The. Okay, yeah, I guess the foul go. I might as well push it a little bit here. <laughs> I'm not sure! Major Howe, because he's an idiot. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, please don't. Please don't be this. Don't be what? Oh no. Did I accidentally the whole thing? No. Oh, th oh, okay. Okay. I was gonna say, if a wolf man bought chocolate and died of eating chocolate... <laughs> I don't know, he seemed... I... I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. Hi, Dark Cheddar J. Thanks for the host again. We're in the middle of trying to solve the case of who bought the chocolate. Born. We're still pursuing the lead of Dog Eats Chocolate. <sighs> okay, so... Maybe it's about time Morn actually used his brain because I assume he's using his brain in the background and it's just humoring Nathan. <laughs> so that was a waste of a day too, so... No, no, the, th the thing is, while we didn't actually gain confirmation, we gained a... I'm, I'm just... Dark Shadow Jay, give me the chocolate! The viewing is entirely optional. Yeah, guess what we're not going to do? We're not going to not view the optional scene. I've actually got mm. enough money I could go out and get cheap chocolate after the stream, but I don't really want to go anywhere. Brava! <laughs> actually paying attention here. Mm. I am attempting. Revolution. Wait, 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 whoa. Alright, we've got two days left, I think. Three. Maybe two. Let's go to places that don't require time. That? That seems like an idea. All in them, all in them. Mousy. Are you the M of all in them? Wait, we're not doing You are correct, sir. We're getting connections. What? Wait. Vopez. Vopez means fox in some language, I'm sure. Are you sure he's not actually Prince One? Bum, oh, thank bum, you, Morn. Bum. I thought I was being subtle for once, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure he's on vacation in, in England. Jail? Yes, why wouldn't you take a vacation in lovely, rainy England? Of oh, Yes, okay. So, we can go to... The only place we haven't gone yet is the library. We can go back to Le Hall and try again with the swan. That's not going to take time. Yeah, it's not. if it's not going to take time, you might as well. I assume taking time things are technically important, like they could develop the case. Hello? I'm here. Okay, just making sure. I'm sure. Oh, so she's not going to return. Yeah, we've lost information because of you! We have, The only place we haven't gone yet is the library. Okay, how about you handle the library, Mr... Grace and tact. 
Mr. Oh, I love Don Quixote. He must be a good guy. <laughs> Don't eat poison pork. My personal answer is I'm a bigger fan of the classics, but the funny thing is for me, the classics are actually, a lot of them are what's being written at this time period. It's kind of awkward. Go for modern. Actually, I'm going to ask our illustrious Dark Shadow J what he thinks we should say. And readings for squares is not an option. Yeah. We've already established him to be a fan of Don Quixote, so I'm not going to break character like that. I mean, I know a rectangle is a kind of square. You have that backwards. A square is a kind of rectangle. Shush. I also had the set up for my joke backwards anyway, so... <laughs> also, you've been asked a direct question. Uh, I am I am good, Dark Shadow. I was very much hyped for today's episode. And I'm just pushing his buttons and being annoying the whole time. <laughs> oh, look, gratuitous names. Hey, look, it's Nathan! Hi, Nathan! Um, I have never done this. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, I... Th th you see, as well as the stream delay, there's a little bit of Skype delay, so I didn't actually see... me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to have to start making horse noises now? Hey Yami, would you describe Nathan as horse-faced? Oh my god, that is the worst pun. I knew it too, as soon as you- uh... <laughs> Look, if I have to be freaking miserable through this entire game, you guys are going to join me, do you understand? He is most assuredly the librarian. <laughs> <laughs> you beautiful creature. Yeah. Wait, that was uh, a go. That was that was wonderful. Good job being a horse, Epona. <laughs> uh. You know what? I'm gonna continue to pursue Don Quixote de la Mancha as a thing. Like, like. Is the guy claiming to be the prince just under some grand delusion of grandeur? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Falcon knows exactly what's going on. You shut your ho horse mouth. Oh no. Oh no. Sisney Warren, have you even looked at it and found where or not a page is missing yet? Yes, I did, for the record. Okay. Page 44, and if you would like to see for yourself, page 44! No! 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 Why am I still doing vaguely goat voice? Okay, okay. It's, it's good. Wow, this guy's not like you at all. He's direct. He insults people. So he's he's really closer to me than you. Queen Reg. But for the sake of people, Isabella the second, sure. King Consort Francis. Oh, this sounds like information that we probably needed to know. And sooner. 
I blame Nathan. You Nathan. blame Nathan? Yes, I blame... I had to pronounce his name differently, so it didn't sound like I was being self-deprecating for once. <laughs> Juan Carrido. Oh, okay, is this the part where we find out there's no such man? See, if we had taken Spanish better... Oh my god. So... I'm going to go ahead and put this out. We're not going to get to the trial today. We've only got 29 minutes left of the stream. We'll be getting to the trial next week. So I'm going to spell out my current, okay. my current theories. No predictions. I'm not drawing any conclusions here. There's two of them that I'm going with. One. Okay. It is actually a frame-up job. Somebody else killed the dude, and our guy was an undercover investigator. Yes. Something unrelated. And that's why the mouse came to us. Or two, there are actually political dissidents, and they were really, he really was trying to kill the king. Mm, I'm more willing to believe in Theory 1. Well, now we don't have to if deal I... with the awkwardness of the name. A new day has dawned. The trial is tomorrow. So we have uh, not uh, a whole lot we can go off of. We can either go talk about this, or we can try to go present a few more. I'm going to cheat. One time. Mm. No, I'm not. All right. All right, yeah. audience. We got a couple of people in here. Do we go try to pursue the chocolate lead some more, or do we go confront the so-called Prince of Spain about not really being the Prince of Spain? Yeah, would it do the curveball more? Yes! It? Yes, it would! No. It would... You, you. It's even chance of it doing a curveball or setting us up to believe a curveball and then playing it completely straight. I'd not, I'm not drawing any conclusions as to which, and I will take whatever the game actually gives me at the end on the trial to next week. But right now, we have two choices, and I want to know which one people want to see me go for. Would you say the game has a... Um, that from you would you say it's it's gonna work out either way and you'll accept what happens um i'm gonna have to but not like you'll feel cheated if a particular one happens i'm gonna have to no? go back and watch this then um Yes, let me flip this coin right here that has heads on both sides, Dark Shadow J, and I really do have one in my hand. Let's see what it says. Oh, he kind of told you he wasn't the prince by giving you Don Quixote the book. I think that's what Teraphim means. I don't know. I think that's a bit much for... But it is entirely possible, given that the book was written in French... And the fact that he was speaking French to you and using that one gratuitous Spanish word. He like did a couple why of those, would... but that, that was the, the point. Hmm. Well, we, we still need to figure that out, though. We need to get... We, either need, we have basically two sources of information and... Not enough time. Yeah, so somebody needs to make a decision. I'm not flipping a coin. I don't have a convenient one on handy. But if he's not the prince, we still need to find out what he's actually doing there. But if we go do that, we miss an opportunity to get a valuable lead. Really, I'm going to have to completely replay this game after I finish it. I'm kind of excited for that now. I look forward to the stories of, oh man, it completely worked out different kind of all right well we just got a hard vote for the prince what
Uh, Skype lag. Oh, can't talk to me like that. Good enough. Thank you, Dark Shadow J. Okay. Yes, you, you person. He didn't. He made it up. <laughs> and Spousen's like, oh, I'm so proud of him. No, I'm not. I'm not going angry. Just, just do it politely. Have some tact. Wait. So he's in jail on purpose. Yeah, he he's 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 going to be Volpe's Volpe's or oh, yes, how he is. Um, that's yes, a given. he is. So you you got that one right, Nathan. Good job. I I think you kind of believed me when I mentioned it. Oh, I, so... I had every I had every reason to believe you. Okay, so the game hasn't completely pulled the wall over our eyes this time. Pre present to him his face. From the Facebook. Oh, shit. What's this? Oh, character development? Really? Are we going to have to uncover the truth about ourselves? Alright. I am intrigued about the overarching plot here. Sparrows. I like Storm. <laughs> Was she a flower girl? AKA Don Quixote. It's making too much sense. I understand, do you, Nathan? I like to think I do. Warren, well, can I just take a moment and say I am I am glad to experience these weird twists with you. <laughs> Thank you. So, we're in a very difficult position here. Wait, in real life, don't foxes like to eat geese? A swan is not a goose. That is true. I'm an idiot. I forgot she was a swan. Meanwhile... If I have time... I don't think we have time. We do not have time. We're going to fail and it's all going to be Nathan's fault. Alright, well we can go anywhere real quick beforehand. I'm going to set up for the trial, we're going to do these last few things. If there's anything I can do. 
Nope. Okay. There's nothing I can do. Uh, we're going to save. And next week we'll do the trial. Hopefully we will not mess up. So I'm going to go ahead and save and quit. We'll get back to the title screen and I'm going to very quickly summarize our position here. Okay. Okay. All right. So what we learned today is that our client is a detective who has delusions of being, well, chivalrous. A knight. A knight. And the implication that we got from that is that our swan character is actually... The real criminal. Well, being forced into it. And so... Our guy did the, may or may not have actually done the crime, but he certainly put himself in a position to be arrested for having done the crime because he wants to be found guilty to save the girl. Hmm. So we, as the characters of a video game, are caught between the truth and what our client actually wants. Wait, where have I found this? Where have I seen this before? <laughs> yes, but... In that, in other instances of that, there's been other reasonings and things. This is a very difficult position for Falcon and Sparrowson to be in. Yes. But at least we aren't having the wall po pulled over our eyes, so I say it's a step up in terms of where we are. Yes, but we need to decide in the next week how we're going to handle the trial, which is why I'm glad we have a break point here, because I don't think I could do it right now. Hmm. We have to decide again between the truth and our client's wishes and what is right. The truth and what's right don't always correspond. No. And we also have to deal with the fact that the prosecutor is going to hammer us on every single thing and we didn't we weren't able to get everything because you're just not. Yeah, they they seem to give you the sense of being able to manage but they also go the realism route. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Indeed. Unlike, unlike other attorney games where, you know, you just have infinite... And you have to find everything to progress, yeah. So that's definitely different and a positive in a way. And it definitely hmm. encourages replays because I'm already wanting to play this again from the start once we're done. Yes. And again, I am looking forward to the stories coming from that. All right. So that's going to be it for us for today. Uh, thanks, guys, for stopping in. I always appreciate it. And, of course, thanks to Nathan and Yami for being here. Uh, no thanks to me for... <laughs> for not pissing off the swan. Good job. And, in, and insisting that we investigate chocolate as opposed to books. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a lead we could have gotten there. I'm absolutely certain of it. But we didn't have enough information to go on. No. Well, I, I guess I'll try and be on Skype so that we can maybe debate what we're going to do. All right. Well, remember, I have the day off Wednesday, but that's enough stream. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good one.